Last but not least, Dr. Dre stayed true to his brand. Your brand is the most important element of your business. It tells everyone what you stand for and why you do what you do. All right? If you know Dre, he doesn't hold his tongue for no one. You can hear it in his li- his lyrics, his songs. <laughs> you can you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it right. You listen to some of the old school Dr. Dre, even you know some of his new stuff, man. He speaks his mind. All right. He's gonna give you the truth whether you like it or not. All right. Just ask the police. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna break it down for you, man. All right. Even his business ventures outside of making beats. He's still going to stick with the hip hop music culture. He's still going to stick with the brand. All right. Ever heard of Beats by Dre? Does that ring a bell? <laughs> Check this out, man. The Mega Beats buyout included $2.6 billion in cash and about $400 million in stock, making Dre the wealthiest hip hop artist in the world. He created it. He put his name on some dope looking headphones that sounds amazing, may I add. And look, if you want to cop those beats, Beats by Dre, I have the link in the descriptions below. All right. I have it in the link below. And look, he sold them to Apple. Made millions, millions. Believe me, if he wasn't true to his brand, if he didn't stay focused on his grind and stayed in his ground roots, his name would not have been as valuable. And the Beats by Dre brand would not be a successful brand today. These are the things I've learned watching Dr. Dre. Make sure your production is dope. Start with the drums. We all know the drum is all about the drum section, all right? It's all about the drums, man. <laughs> Collab with other talented music uh, musicians and producers. And stay true to your brand. All right, don't switch it up. Stay true. Even if you're in a different lane, you know, connect the brand. This will pay off in the future. All right. 